Infinite Warfare is boring, Infinite Warfare is dead, Beast from Beyond sucks, this game is done and over with and unfortunately it's going out without a bang, Infinity War failed us. That's something I've been hearing a lot of over the past week and I figured what we do today is go ahead and talk about some of the stuff that I've been hearing, just kind of have a little bit of a conversation on special guests or guest stars inside of Infinite Warfare Zombies. Now before we go too ahead of ourselves, what's going on guys, my name is Cynic and as we kind of already said, today we're going to be talking about guest stars and their impact on Infinite Warfare Zombies. Personally, I feel that it was a nice staple that Infinity War added into the game to kind of separate themselves away from the Treyarch team and the way that the Treyarch studio does things as far as the Zombies game mode is concerned. It was also just an overall nice breath of fresh air and a nice confidence or self-esteem booster considering a lot of people that were lucky enough to complete Easter eggs inside of Infinite Warfare were then able to sport a physical reward to show off to everyone else inside of their lobby and say hey i bested the easter egg inside of this specific map and this is my reward for all of my hard work and from the start i was a huge fan of it at first i was a little skeptical like oh shit you have to complete an actual easter egg in order to play as a secret or guest character but slowly as raven the redwoods and challenge shuffle came out i opened up to the idea and i personally liked it because like i said it was a nice staple to separate themselves away from treyarch and it was also a great incentive to motivate players to try to knock out the easter egg for that specific map so that way they can play as a new character and hear new dialogue and see new animations and it wouldn't be the same thing over and over again it also just spiced up the gameplay even if it was just from a dialogue and small animation perspective it was enough to keep people engaged a little longer now the beast from beyond there seems to be a catch-22 here where there's no guest star to have that same sense of the other maps have to be able to play as someone different but if you do have other easter eggs out of the way beast from beyond rewards you with so much more specifically director's cut and if you go the extra mile and complete the super easter egg willard weiler inside of space land so speaking a little freely here as far as expectations go i can say that beast from beyond is a little disappointing because this is the final DLC. You would expect out of any other map, this one to 100% have a guest character, especially if Spaceland and every other map before Beast had it, you would think Infinity Ward would end this game off with the same type of surprises they kind of started the game off with. So can you say Infinity Ward ended Infinite Warfare off with some disappointment? Yes, can you say they ended it off without a bang? I don't think so. I think that's a little strong and kind of a punch in the face for Infinity War to be completely honest as we did get extra stuff that no one was really expecting. For a long time, there was speculation on playing as Willard, so it's kind of cool that we have him, but as far as director's cut goes, I think no one was really expecting to have perma perks in every map. 25k from the start, double pack a punch available from the start, every weapon out of the wheel automatically packed once. I mean, on paper, all of this stuff sounds like overkill, but this was an amazing and just an overall hell of a reward for everyone who completed every single Easter egg inside of Infinite Warfare. Now, there is that small argument where if you don't have the season pass and you just managed to buy DLC 4, then technically you don't get anything for completing the Easter egg. Whereas with every other map, you do get an extra character. And as far as rewards go for Easter eggs, I think Shell and Shuffle is probably the most rewarding considering you not only get Pram Greer, which is a guest star but you also get an amazing wonder weapon that's actually locked behind that easter egg but i personally think that's a whole nother argument for a whole nother group of people that may feel cheated on dlc4 just for that reason but that's kind of beside the point i'm aiming at people that say beast from beyond sucks just because there's no guest star to me that's just trifle and honestly kind of stupid i agree i'm disappointed there's no guest star but at the end of the day i wouldn't say it's so important to play as someone special or someone different that I would go far enough to say this map sucks or this map's boring just because of that one reason. If I was to say Beast sucked or Beast was boring or I don't like Beast, it would be many other reasons besides something trivial like a guest star. You know what I mean? It doesn't affect your actual gameplay. It just, if anything, it removes a small amount of replayability that this map could have had. And of course, an extra small incentive to get that Easter egg out of the way. But uh, what do you guys think? Would you guys rather have reused dialogue from either Willard or Hasselhoff or Elvira thrown back into Beast so that way you can at least play as one of them it doesn't matter which one as long as you can play as one inside a beast would you really care who knows maybe Infinity Ward or Activision ran out of money to invest for 
more celebrities to show up and they just kind of decided to go against it but would you have cared if they reused audio D does it really matter just as long as you're able to play as one of these characters inside of beast let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below also what's your favorite guest star inside of infinite warfare rate them one to five we're throwing willard inside of there that's why there's five one being your favorite five being the one you care about the least i'm doing a top five guest stars video and it's not going to be my list it's going to be a compilation of your guys' list so write down your votes down in the comment section my name is cynic Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. If you did, don't forget to drop a like as well as subscribe. If you guys are brand new, turn on those notifications. So that way you guys never miss an upload or live stream. Anyways, until next time guys, I'll see you all later.